the story of how Bikini Bottom was brought to his knees when his beloved Krabby Patty formula was stolen by me, Burger Beard. My name is Antonio Banderas, and in this movie I am the pirate. Hot wings! Antonio is a brilliant and charismatic actor. He has the ability to disappear into any kind of role. He's a really macho, handsome leading man, and seeing that transformation into this grungy, crazy pirate was really a lot of fun. Well, the process started when I got a call from Nan, our producer asking me to uh, design this 18th century pirate. And then this is what we came up with. The first time I met Antonio, he came to our tailor shop in Los Angeles. And when they start putting these elements together with the boots and the vest and all this stuff, he immediately sort of came to life. He was actually hilarious because he had it on and he was dancing around and looked a little bit like a gnome of some sorts and the hair was flying. And that's when we kind of met the pirate. If you have come to hear a ripping yarn of an epic tale, you have come to the right place. Antonio comes in the morning and we sit him down and it's about an hour, hour and 15 between Janine and I to do all the makeup. And so two of us are doing the beard and Janine's working on the hair. And he starts seeing himself and getting into his pirate character. I arrived being Antonio Banderas. And as much as they start putting things on me, the wig, the beard, the costumes, everything, you know, your whole entire body becomes something different. You start moving different. And consequently, your voice also changes. And you go from uh, talking like I'm talking now to start just going like this. Man -ho! So the way that he looks it helped me enormously just to create a voice uh, for him. Is the apron on okay? Yes, yes, you're all good to go. So this is the burger beard insignia for his Krabby Patty. We made a couple of different versions, and this is the one that we ended up with. And it looks fantastic. I mean, this tied around his head and this, but he keeps his pirate pants on with that. You know, we wanted to keep the pirate aspect in there. This would be Antonio Banderas' lovely pirate wig. It's actually naturally curly like this. And then we added these silly straggly little braids down here to just make him look a little more rough and rugged. And it drives him absolutely crazy because the hair goes like this and sticks in his sweat on his face. <laughs> I simply rewrote the story and uh, poof. That's a good work, I like it. He's got a mustache, the lip piece. These are the sides. This is the chin. They come to us raw like this, permed, and then we wash them and condition them each night dye the lace so that it matches his skin tone and then dress it with these irons. I just started to dress this piece here so in the end it'll be big curls. On a real beard you'd make it very bushy but we made a choice with Antonio to do screwy ringlets that kind of move when he talks. The whole entire hair situation that I have in the movie was like a raccoon attacked me in the morning and stayed there for the rest of the day, you know, for 10 to 12 hours with the thing on, which actually at the same time limits you a little bit in movements. If I laugh too hard, <laughs> the mustache does bling. Okay, <laughs> I lose my mustache. If I do patty, pat, that thing, I feel patty, the whole patty. thing. Okay. The whole thing that's like cracking. And then we've got these fun little eyebrows that he loves because he can really make one go up or one go down when he looks into the camera. And he says it's helped him a lot with the expression. I can't have you pooping all over my restaurant, can I? I'm actually having a really easy time on this show because he has a scarf that comes down over his forehead that we wrap around his head. So we're not having to use any glue and torture him in any way here. We're just having to adhere it and clip some clips in his head and pin it on and it stays. And it hasn't been bad. The biggest problem is it's really heavy. And so if it's not clipped on properly, it'll just slide right off the back of his head. The wig weighed so much that at the end of the first two days, I had this pain on my neck and I didn't know what it was coming from. And it was coming from just bearing this thing and pushing ahead with my head the whole entire day. <laughs> so 
this thing surpassed completely the whole entire experience that I had with any other character in my life in terms of physicality. It looks very good, it's very uncomfortable. Don't try at home, it's dangerous. One thing worse than talking birds, and that would be singing birds. It's hard to hold yourself on screen opposite SpongeBob, but Antonio reveled in all of the details of Burger Bird, and he just created a character that we haven't seen before, and I think is worthy of the SpongeBob world and universe. I really wasn't expecting him to bring the kind of physical comedy that he does. It was really just a treat to see how far he could push it. I am happy because if you wouldn't know me, you see that character, you will never recognize me on the streets. We actors, we all, I think, we love that possibility of being absolutely somebody else. The end! <laughs>